Hey there, welcome to my room. I want to turn one of these VHS tapes into a sketchbook. Because honestly, I don't know what else to do with them. Yeah, there's some great movies, but yeah, I don't have a VHS player. So at Walmart, I was looking around for sketchbooks and I found a couple good options. And I picked up some Velcro because I figured I'd need it. So I just uh, got all the gunk off this VHS and started to unscrew it. And it came out pretty easily. So after opening off the back casing, I had these two spools of, I guess, film. Took those out and then I started measuring this bigger sketchbook to see if it would fit. And I took off the casing and it was just a really tight fit. So I started to clear out all of these uh, extra hanging pieces of the VHS tape. And just kept trying and it just didn't want to fit in. So I went with the smaller one, which kind of sucks because it's a lot smaller, of course. these metal prongs in the the casing of the VHS and I kind of wanted to just leave them and see if I could use them to keep this sketchbook in place so I cut some slits into it and I threw it on however they didn't want to stay put stay flush against the paper and I knew it would mess up my drawing so I got this casing from the first sketchbook. I figured if I could find a way to keep it down. It would be a good option to draw against. A good backboard, if you will. It was looking like this was going to fit, but because the plastic was see-through, it was going to look pretty bad. So I went to the store and got some paint swatches, splotches, swatches I think. Anyway, I got them to cover up the plastic part and make it opaque instead of see-through. So I tried tracing the receipt and that didn't work. So instead I traced around the border with pencil and pressed down against this paint swatch. And it kind of worked and then I caved in and finally bought a pair of scissors and cut out two of the same shape use my hot glue gun glued those on it looked pretty white trash but you know it worked so on to the next part I needed to find a way to keep this backboard in and I thought about using this glue stick and gluing it on before I did that though I used another paint swatch and covered up the back side of the other paint swatch I used. What I'm doing here is pressing down the paint swatches and finding where the pieces extrude from the casing of the VHS, cutting it out and then gluing it on. It was looking pretty good. So I tried out the glue stick method, glued it on both sides and it held the backboard in place. I was able to get it out too. So when I fill up this sketchbook, I can just go to the store, get another one, and put it right back into this casing. Snap it back in and we're good. So I got these spools um, that hold the film on them, and I wanted to put them back in to the final design, but these knobs are taking up a bunch of space, so I cut them off. On both of the spools, I ended up just breaking off the clear plastic part so I could take off the ribbon. I figured I could use this stuff for something else, like gift wrap, but it didn't really curl. Either way, I cut off both knobs and filed them out with fingernail clippers. 
and to make a sketchbook more water resistant I got some of that broken plastic and traced out a circle and cut it out with some pliers and I'm out of super glue but I brought back the hot glue gun to glue on both of these circles like that push it into place go around all the edges then I wanted to cover up some of the spots where I had removed plastic because it looked really bad so I lined up another black paint swatch and pressed it down and cut out everywhere so it would fit in perfectly and then I glued on some more plastic to cover up the hole and then I glued all the way around glued on my paint swatch and then glued on my white spools. So next step was to find a way to hold the pencils in, but they were just getting in the way of the glue sticks. Wouldn't close, so I sharpened them down more. And I brought back this film and taped it together, make a little loop. Pretty much just wrapped it around all three pencils with a little bit of tape. Brought back the hot glue gun and pressed it on. We're looking pretty good. So I just reinforced it with some more glue. I had some of this faux leather. I cut it into a strip and glued that on into the middle to create a makeshift hinge. That way I could swing it open and closed. While that dried, I got some sticker paper. I think I got it from Walmart. And I traced it to the size of the middle sticker. And removed the original and put mine on. My plan was to draw a design, but I hated how it looked. So for now, I just glued on some of my artwork that I made in the past using some hot glue. Then I put the lever back on. There we go. Final step was just to put on some Velcro to keep the whole sketchbook closed. So I put on the bottom part. And then the top part I placed connected to the bottom part. I peeled off the backing and I closed the lever. Here's the final product. Super happy with how this one came out. I'm really pumped to use this and I'm hoping to make another one in the future that's less white trash. Thanks for watching.